The Reno 80 is the latest smartphone from Oppo to hit the market, and it has some impressive specs. This device aims to provide that flashy sort of experience in a mid-range price segment. My name is Cyril Okoy, and here's everything you need to know about the Oppo Reno 80. Let's start with what you get in the box. You get a USB-C cable, a white charging brick with 35 watt super voc written on it. The slick device with a suede back, which has a nice feel, a SIM injector tool, and a case. Although looking at this device, I'm not sure anybody will want to cover this with a case. Now I know you're wondering how much does this device cost. The device costs 290,000 naira. Now let's dive back into the review. For the design, the 8C stands out with its sleek AMOLED design. It features a large 6.4 inches AMOLED display with a resolution of 1080 by 2400 pixel. This display is bright and vivid. With its impressive 90Hz refresh rate, this makes it perfect for gamers and those who love high quality videos. The device features an in-display fingerprint, it's fast, smooth and gives you that flagship experience. The AT is in line with the latest trend of smartphone. It features a hole punch front camera and a slim bezel on the side. If I had one word to describe this phone, I would say perfection. It has the ideal weight, height, texture and edges. Believe me, I'm a huge iPhone fanboy, but this phone got me gushing like a fat kid that I love cake. <laughs> the phone comes with a 100 megapixel main camera, a 2 megapixel ultra wide, and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. The main camera produces vibrant and sharp images, while the ultra wide camera is perfect for landscape and group photos. The camera of this device comes with a host of features, which are high efficiency video recording, night mode, AI scene detection. The front-facing camera is 32 megapixel. It's very good for capturing good-looking pictures and video. I did some tests with the Reno 8T camera. I tried using the 100 megapixel lens during daylight, and it gave me some good photos. The photos had good color accuracy. The 1x zoom looked really nice, although the 2x zoom had a little noise. I tried the portrait mode for pictures, and it came out really nice. They were really colorful and with good details. Now, the only problem I've had with this device is it doesn't shoot 4K. I could only go 780p or 1080p, which is quite sad for a premium device like this. Also, night mode really looked good and shooting flowers and objects were really, really good. They looked realistic. Now, let's get back to the review and talk about the performance and the battery. Under the hood, the Oppo Reno 80 is powered by a Helio G99 processor. You also get 8GB of RAM and 256 internal storage. You can get an extra 4GB, 6GB or 8GB of RAM with RAM expansion. Using the Reno 80, I noticed it was smooth and responsive and I didn't notice any lag. But while playing PUBG, I noticed I could increase the graphics rates above HD. The battery life of the Oppo Reno 80 is impressive. It comes with a 5000mAh battery that easily lasts a whole day with moderate usage. The phone also supports the 3 watts fast charging, which can charge the phone from 0 to 100 in 1 hour and 18 minutes. For the operating system, the Reno 80 runs on the Oppo's Priority Color OS 13, which is based on Android 13. It has a host of customization options that allows you to personalize your smartphone experience. The software experience on this phone is great, but what's even better apart from the software experience is the fact that Oppo will be providing 4 years of Android support for a bunch of phones including the Reno 80. So in terms of software longevity, the Reno 80 has got you covered to Android 17. Now, my final verdict on this device. I think the Reno 80 is an amazing phone. From my review, you can tell I'm already sold. I love the design. I just love how lightweight it is. I love the bezels. I love the AMOLED screen, especially the OS. I think it's well put together. It feels light, fast, smooth, and it's good for day-to-day -day operations. Practically nothing I can say is wrong with this device. If I would rate it, I would rate it 8.8 .8 over 10. I would rate it a 9 but 2 problems. Number 1, the chipset is old. Number 2, it doesn't shoot 4K, which is sad. But apart from that, this phone is a game changer. I think you should buy it. I think it's affordable. I think it's value for your money. <laughs> I sound like a salesman. <laughs> Anyways, like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye guys.